and welcome once again to the glorious Peak District, more specifically Birchin Edge. And I'm here with my good friend Ray, he's just in the background there, and we've come out for a short walk today. We've got around about four hours, so we've come back to a personal favourite of ours, one that we've visited about four or five times in the last few months. It's the nearest bit of edgy gritstone to where we live, so it's just over the hill from Chesterfield. So we've parked the car down at Robin Hood, near the pub there. We've walked up onto Birchin Edge. Just behind me here is Nelson's Monument. And the route for today is gonna to take us over towards Big Moor and White Edge, down towards Kerber Edge, along Baslow, and then down into the valley, up and over Gardam's Edge, and back to the pub at Robin Hood. So here we are at the Nelson's Monument, and just behind me, in the distance there are the three ships. Nelson's monument was erected in 1810, I think to commemorate the death of Nelson in 1805. So it's a beautiful morning, a nice crisp autumn day, and we're in for a nice leisurely meander. So as you come to the trig point there, on the northern end of Birchin Edge, there are two ways you can go. You can either go straight down, which we have done, or you can go the other way, which is further along the edge, but then straight across the moors. And they both converge on the same point, but I think the lower route is uh, a little bit less boggy. Um, so we've chosen that one today. The ground is a little bit frozen, but it's still very wet underfoot. So I think the main difference between taking the higher path and the lower path is the lower path is uh, much better catered for when it comes to crossing the boggier sections. There are boards and also um, stepping stones as well, so it makes it a little bit easier. So we've just crossed the road after leaving the patch of moorland there and uh, we're heading over towards Big Moor and White Edge. Oh, don't fall down that one. So we're up on White Edge now and we're going to head to the trig point. But the main reason why we've done this route today is to try and come and see the stags. Uh, I've got the long lens in the bag there and uh, we'll see how close we can get. So there's two over there, it's two people here. Mm. We've been on White Edge, Big Moor for around about 35 40 minutes now and the stags and the hinds are well over in the distance so we can't really get close enough and at this time of year when they're rutting as well it's probably not the wisest idea we've left white edge now and we're heading down towards kerber edge and this section here in between is very boggy I think it's very boggy all year round. Yep, just lost my foot there almost. <laughs> Luckily we've got the uh, leather boots on today instead of the trail shoes. I'll film you as you walk across it, Ray, and if you disappear, at least we'll know where you've vanished to. 
I'm afraid there's just no easy way of doing it. Welcome to Kerba Edge. Looking down at the Derwent Valley there. It really is a beautiful day. Um, I've been out quite a bit lately, haven't we, Ray? Yeah. Just doing like more local walks. I mean, this is only like 20 or so minutes from home. Uh, sticking local. But we've been out quite a bit, but this is the first time in quite a while that I've taken the camera with me. It does feel good to have the camera once again. We're wandering along Bamford Edge now. And this morning when we set out from Robin Hood and up onto Birchen Edge, we didn't see a soul for over an hour until we got up onto White Edge. And it's gradually got busier. And when you get to hot spots like Kerber and the Kerber Gap car park there, at a weekend, you can hardly move. <laughs> I think the last time we came uh, was a few weeks ago with my girlfriend and some friends as well. And it was so busy but now we're on Bamford Edge, there's no one here. We're gonna be dropping down into the valley in a moment and then climbing up onto Gardam's Edge. In the center there, you've got the Wellington Monument. We're gonna be heading down now and there's Gardam's Edge and right in the distance is Birchen Edge. This is definitely one of my favourite bits of the walk. We're dropping off Bamford Edge down into the forest now and well at this time of year, autumn, it's beautiful. That's when you know you've made it and you've got a private bridge leading over to your house. And we're back. We're back in the car at the Robin Hood car park and it's been a really enjoyable route. Um, it's around about seven miles in total and we've been going for around about three, three and a half hours. I've got to pick my daughter up at, uh, in Chesterfield at about two o'clock so it's time to leave. But as always, the links to maps and things like that will be in the description. But thanks for watching and I'll see you all again very soon. Say bye Ray. Bye. <laughs>